Hey everyone, I got another food hack for you. Uh, someone in, my, in the comments section suggested this uh, spherification or molecular gastronomy, the uh, ever popular term to describe um, playing with food uh, in the comments of one of my last videos. So I bought this, uh, this silly little kit here. Originally I was interested in this process they call spherification, where you make an alginate shell around fluids and you end up with sort of like a grape, kind of like with a skin on it with, with um, a juicy thing in the middle. But this little kit here came with all kinds of chemicals. There's actually a bunch of chemicals in here, about a dozen different um, common food additive chemicals that probably in the food industry are, are totally, you know, run-of-the-mill stuff. But it's hard for individuals to get, so these guys put it all in a kit. And I thought I'd try it out. So I set out to make uh, maraschino cherry spheres. And my first attempt was to go with what they consider the normal spherification route, where you mix uh, sodium alginate with uh, the substance that you want to put inside this capsule and then you mix up a solution of uh, calcium chloride in water and you drip the sodium alginate solution into the calcium chloride and what happens is, is as the droplets fall through the calcium chloride solution an alginate shell forms so I tried this with the cherry mixture but there's some sort of a problem either the cherries have too much calcium in them already so that when you add the sodium alginate to the to the cherries um, it, it starts gelling up already and really the gelling should wait until we're, we're dripping it into the calcium chloride solution so that didn't work uh, luckily there is another way of doing this you can actually reverse the two ingredients and so make a sodium alginate solution and then drip the contents with the calcium mixed in into the sodium alginate solution so that's what I did here I started by making the sodium alginate solution and I got about 500 milliliters of water and added two and a half grams of sodium alginate and then mixed it up with an immersion blender. So this, this actually mixes it really quickly but it also introduces lots of air bubbles. So I then degassed it by putting uh, small amounts in an Erlenmeyer flask and then applying vacuum. I had to do this in batches because uh, the, the solution foamed up so incredibly that uh, it would have uh, overflowed the chamber. <laughs> I then mixed up about 100 grams of maraschino puree just by taking some cherries out and mixing it with a little bit of the sugar water that comes with the cherries and added to it uh, about two and a half grams of uh, not calcium chloride but actually calcium lactate gluconate. So I guess the reason that you don't use straight up calcium chloride when you're doing this so-called reverse spherification is that the calcium chloride might uh, flavor your product a little bit and since there'll be so much more of it in the final product you, you don't want to use it. Uh, so after I had the, I also degassed the um, the cherry uh, puree, putting it in the vacuum chamber and drawing a vacuum. So then I drew up a little bit of the puree into a syringe and dripped the, the puree into the sodium alginate solution and lo and behold, it, it works as described. It was making little spheres. Um, one thing to keep in mind is if the spheres touch each other, they continue gelling and uh, they'll stick together. So what I ended up with here is kind of like a mat <laughs> of, of little spheres connected together. So let me take them out and put them in this little cup here. Get a close look at it. So there you have it, and they're pretty tough. I mean, you, you would think that they'd be really uh, fragile, but actually it's not the case. I mean, you can kind of poke at them and pull them around, and, and it's, it's holding. Oops, I just popped that one. Okay, so that one wasn't too fragile, but you can see what it takes to actually break one. I mean, they're, they're fairly robust. Uh, but the thing is, with this reverse spherification method, they do stick together in the bath. So the best thing to do would be to make... Um, just a few, like so that they aren't clumping up on the bottom of the container and then um, taking them out and rinsing them in water to prevent it from, from growing a thicker gel shell on there. So I may do something more with this in the future, but there's over a dozen chemicals in that in the uh, the bag over there, so I got plenty of things to try. If any of you guys have any suggestions, I'd like to hear it. Alright, I managed to get one of them out mostly intact. Let's see what it tastes like. It's pretty interesting. As soon as you bite on it, the thing bursts apart and you just have a, a bunch of maraschino cherry puree in your mouth, which is pretty good. 
Um, the skin of it is sort of thick. I, it feels like kind of like a millimeter or something like that. And apparently you can adjust the skin thickness by how long the droplet of, of puree sits in the alginate solution. So I'll probably try playing with that too. All right, see you next time. Bye.